Esto es Tokio Eléctrico. Seguimos disfrutando de este escenario, el podio del Tokio y Free. El ganador, Max Kundra, aquí lo tenemos en el podio también. Disfrutando también, obviamente, con la champaña por todo lo alto. En este podio que significó la primera vez que llega la ABB vía Fórmula E aquí, a la capital de Japón. Y vaya espectáculo que pudimos ver hoy en esta pista de 20 curvas. 2.5 kilómetros de recorrido que va a quedar sin dudas para los libros de historia. Hubo muchos sobrepasos sobre el final. El eh, auto de Andretti de Jake Dennis logró escabullirse por detrás de Antonio Félix da Costa para quedar en el tercer lugar. En el segundo puesto, tercer pueblo consecutivo para Oliver Rowland, favorito de casa por su equipo Nissan, equipo japonés. Y el ganador, como decía Max Günther, con Maserati. Esto es lo que tuvieron para decir. Max Günther. Amazing, man. Incredible driving, incredible performance, and another win for Maserati. Yeah, just amazing. I'm so proud about it all weekend. We've been in the top three in every session, and yeah, now to finish the weekend with this win is, uh, is amazing. I think we did a lot of things right uh, this, this weekend. Strategy was great. I guess uh, the overtake move was good, and um, yeah, we just did the right things at the right time, and yeah, we. We, uh, yeah, we took the win at the end, so it was tight. Nobody knew what was going to happen in this new track for everybody, uh, but what did you find out there? Yeah, look, uh, overtaking was not easy, but energy management at the same time was very important. So we had to play it very smart and uh, it was very, very tight until the end. Like in the last lap, almost uh, only got me back and uh, I tried to defend with everything I had and uh, I finally did, so it's amazing to win this race. And did you have a feeling that, okay, I finally got the win at any moment, and when was that? Well, obviously, when I took the lead, I felt I had good pace, but uh, at the same time, I was consuming uh, too much energy at this point because, uh, yeah, uh, we tried to pull a gap, but we didn't pull enough. Then I just managed to stay ahead of, of Oli, And then, um, yeah, we just, uh, you know, had to had to protect it until the end. But honestly, even until the last lap, it wasn't sure if you're gonna make it. Go out, celebrate, man. Congrats Thanks, again. Man. <laughs> Oliver Roland, third podium in a row. I mean, how incredible is that? And in front of your own fans, you know, in, in Japan, in Tokyo. Yeah, it's amazing. I think um, if you'd have offered me pole position in second place in Tokyo, I'd have took it. But um, There's a slight element of disappointment because we were so close to winning, but um, I must say what an ama amazing job by the team, the whole Nissan, all the big bosses were here to watch. So and I, all, all these yeah. fans that you have here. And I think they uh, they all loved the race and it was uh, yeah, it was interesting from my side. I tried my best to hang on to the lead. I couldn't quite do it, but um, yeah, super happy, very good points. I don't think I'm far off the top of the championship now, so uh, who knows, we need to keep pushing. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, man, all good? Yeah, great. And you? You're worn out, tired? <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. Adrenaline down? Yeah. Finally, we... you could squeeze in there, huh? Have we started? <laughs> Have we started this? <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was uh, an amazing race. Uh, lucky to get P3, obviously, right towards the end of the race. Uh, but yeah, ultimately, very happy with, with, with the podium. And uh, it's a long way to come. So, to treat the guys to a podium is a, is a special day. I mean, it's, it's, it seems that like it would be been uh, like many races already under the speed, but still a lot of championship ahead. Well, still so many races to go. You know, I think this was our fifth race. Uh, so ultimately, very early on, we still got over or 10 or more races to go. So um, yeah, full focus on just trying to keep building that consistency. But ultimately, we've had a we've had a pretty good start to the year. Can you dream of uh, repeating the World Championship? I mean, yeah, there's nothing wrong with dreaming, but right now it's it's so early on. Maybe come. Uh, You know, Portland or something like this, you really focus on the championship. But right now, I've got the European leg coming up, you know, uh, Monaco, uh, Berlin, uh, Misano. So these races are super important for the championship. Sasha, un fin de semana que al final terminó con un punto muy valioso ¿eh? para marcar un antes y un después en la temporada. Sí, la verdad que me lo llevo. Ese punto, la verdad que, que me lo llevo a casa y no me lo esperaba. Cuando hablamos en la grilla, 
largando 20 en ese circuito que todo el mundo sabe, bueno, sabe, pensábamos que no se podía pasar y al final, bueno, saqué un poco los codos, como se dice en inglés, me, me, bueno, hice un par de sobrepasos, me fui para adelante, tomé un poco más de riego, total no tenía nada que perder y la verdad que, que valió la pena. Uh, así que nada, la verdad que en general fue un, un fin de semana un poco alto y bajo, terminamos con un alto de, 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 de terminar marcando un punto, largando tan lejos. Ahora hay que, como te, te acabo de explicar, hay que juntar todos lo, los performances, digamos, de, de lo que hice el año pasado en clasificaciones, que era muy bueno, y las carreras no tanto. Ahora las carreras son buenas, las clasificaciones perdí un poco de, de ritmo, así que hay que juntar esas dos experiencias que vengo teniendo en la Fórmula E. Y si llegamos a mejorar las clasificaciones, obviamente, solamente me puedes ayudar.